On October 22, 2018, Afghanistan, Czech special operators were providing escort for a civilian truck entering Shindad Air Base. Unexpectedly, the rear vehicle of their convoy came under gunfire, originating from a compound in close proximity, reportedly owned by Afghanistan's 4th Special Operations Kondik. After an Afghan commando opened fire, the Czechs raced three casualties to a medical clinic on Camp Conde, which was part of the Shindand Air Base. The commando was detained shortly after he opened fire on Czech special operators, killing one and injuring two others. The commando was later identified as Wahidullah Khan. Following the incident, Afghan commandos contacted the U.S. base to inform them that they'd taken the shooter into custody. At approximately 5 p.m., the Afghan commandos arrived at the U.S. base with Khan. Notably, Khan was dressed in a tracksuit and sandals at the time of his arrival. With the help of a translator, the Green Berets carefully examined Khan's phone and other personal belongings, hoping to uncover any valuable information. At the same time, the Czechs conducted an interrogation of Khan. According to the translator, who later provided a statement to investigators, distressing screams were audible from inside the room during the interrogation. The Green Berets and the translator entered next. They wanted to know if there were more people or threats waiting. The Green Berets denied harming Khan during questioning. They said the turncoat commando failed to answer most questions. Khan told them he'd been feeling ill and went crazy while on guard shift. Khan had been with the commando unit for only five months, claimed not to know the names of any soldiers he lived, ate, or prayed with. When questioned about his involvement, he maintained that he had simply lost his mind and provided no information regarding who had hired him or the motive behind his actions. Despite persistent inquiries, he didn't elaborate on whether it was an act of retaliation or if he had any prior contact with hostile militia groups. A senior Afghan security official in Kabul said the Afghan government considered Khan an insurgent infiltrator. At one point, Khan recounted a past incident in which he claimed that Americans had shelled his village, resulting in the death of three women. Another Green Beret reported that Khan asserted that the Americans frequently make mistakes causing harm to innocent civilians, and he viewed his own actions as a similar mistake. When pressed for further explanation regarding this comment, Khan repeatedly referred to his state of going crazy without providing additional details. According to the investigation, the Green Berets interrogated Khan for approximately 30 minutes before returning him to the custody of the Czech special operators. The Americans confirmed that Khan didn't sustain any harm while in the custody of either group. Days after the shooting incident, while still present at Camp Conde, the translator provided a statement that largely aligned with the Green Berets' accounts of events. However, on November 7, 2018, after being relocated to Bagram Air Base and removed from the remote camp, the translator offered a statement that presented a significantly different narrative. According to the translator's testimony provided to investigators at Bagram during the interrogation, Khan was restrained with zip ties and subjected to repeated beatings by multiple members of the 7th Special Forces Group. The translator also alleged that one of the U.S. soldiers resorted to making brutal threats against Khan, coercing him to reveal the truth. Additionally, the translator described a Czech soldier entering the room with notable physical characteristics including large eyes and a bald head. The Czech soldier proceeded to beat Khan, exhibiting aggressive behavior such as spitting on him, forcefully grabbing his hair, and subjecting him to verbal abuse while pounding on the desk. During the interrogation, Khan encountered difficulties in verbal communication and faced challenges in providing coherent responses, according to the translator's account. After reaching the conclusion that they wouldn't extract any valuable information, the U.S. soldiers made the decision to conclude the interrogation. As per the translator's account, the final sighting of Khan outside the interrogation room revealed concerning physical conditions. Khan was observed bleeding from his nose and mouth, while his face exhibited noticeable swelling around his eyes and forehead. According to the translator's testimony, he was approached by a Green Beret who explicitly instructed him that the incident never occurred and he better forget about everything he saw. 
At approximately 7 p.m., Khan was returned to his unit and he was placed in the bed of their Ford Ranger truck by other Afghan commandos. Several hours later, a representative from the U.S. Special Operations Task Force in Afghanistan contacted the operations center at Camp Conde, informing them of reports suggesting that Khan was in critical condition due to mistreatment by Czech and U.S. forces. The investigation, with certain details redacted, didn't provide clarity on how the task force became aware of the situation. Nevertheless, Khan was returned to the custody of the Americans to save his life. He was transported on a stretcher with a bandage covering his head, an intravenous line in his arm, and a plastic tube inserted into his nasal airway to assist with his breathing. Upon Khan's arrival, medical personnel discovered that he had no detectable pulse. Despite the efforts of a surgical team to resuscitate him, their attempts proved unsuccessful. Following the pronouncement of his death, one of the doctors turned to the Afghan sergeant major who had brought the battered body and began to inquire about the circumstances surrounding the incident. The doctor asked what happened to him. The Afghan sergeant major answered that they beat him. While in the clinic, the Afghan sergeant major made an explicit admission, openly stating that every commando from the 4th Special Operations Kandek had engaged in beating Khan. His statement strongly implied that they were the ones responsible for beating him. When the investigators sought additional details regarding this conversation and the individuals who overheard it, one of the Green Berets clarified that the surgical team was situated at a considerable distance and preoccupied with their tasks, making it unlikely for them to have overheard the exchange. In contrast to the claim made by the Green Berets, the translator who was present in the clinic at the time refuted the assertion that the Afghan Sergeant Major made those particular comments. The translator firmly stated that he never heard that and further clarified that the individuals in question didn't engage in any conversations within the clinic. According to the case file, Czech special operators enjoyed a strong reputation among the American forces. A Green Beret who, based on the redacted investigation, held a leadership role, stated in his testimony that Czech troops took immense pride in being one of the selected allied forces engaged in missions beyond the wire. The Green Beret leader who was interviewed during the investigation, but wasn't physically present during the interrogation or Khan's transfer, expressed confidence that the Czechs would never jeopardize their esteemed position by engaging in actions that could undermine their reputation. While certain troubling allegations remain consistent in both statements, such as the translator hearing screams during the Czech troops' interrogation of Khan in the absence of American soldiers and Khan being severely injured when handed over to other Afghan commandos. When Khan's death first became public, it was reported that the Green Beret team had been withdrawn early from Afghanistan. Investigators completed their report in May 2021 and handed their findings over to leaders at the 1st Special Forces Command which ultimately decided to issue the letters of reprimand, which will likely impact the careers of the operators. But let us know what you think in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.